Hello there, welcome into my channel, Sage Sunset Healing Tarot. Thank you for being here. Today we'll be looking at messages from your ancestors, your angels, spirits, and guides. And this message is for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So let's get started. Thank you so much for being here. Do remember that within this healing tarot, find messages to bring you clarity in areas of uncertainty. So Taurus, this is for you. Remember that this is a general reading and all the messages might not apply to all of you. So take what does apply for you, right? All right, let's just get started. I feel like this is definitely a message from, I feel, it's ancestral energy. Mm -hmm. And ancestral energy. Could be a family member here, someone that you really were connected to. I feel like someone sees you crying at night. Taurus, as if you, when you're alone, you feel sad and I feel you, you possibly cry because something having to do with the Ten of Cups energy, which is success, prosperity, happiness, joy, celebration, new beginnings in love, in happiness. So something is blocking your happiness and this is the oh it feels so sad and this is the nine of swords energy which is depression betrayal at the same time i feel like someone is actually watching you i feel like even at nights when you cry they are looking at you just looking at you crying and i don't feel like they're sad about it I actually feel like they're just observing how you feel and I feel like they know that you will get through as if they want you to know that they're there for you in these times and maybe that's why your emotion intensifies because you make you focus on missing the connection with this person When it's as if when you remember them, you miss the connection or you have disdain, disdain, regret. This energy could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It could be Earth, sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have two tens on the board for you and this is I feel definitely communication the ten feels like communication it feels like um, telepathic energy it feels spiritual connect there's a spiritual connection also with the with the ten of cups For some of you, this could be a loved one that you lost here. I can see that, you know, I see that you 
this is this feels like um a grave site digging honestly the seven of pentacles energy but i feel like this person really watches over you especially when you cry you cry about missing them i feel like this person could be a family member too but even though there's sadness in you, the beautiful thing about it is I feel like it is okay for you to allow yourself to feel this way maybe with others, maybe with others in your family because it feels like you don't show this side of you, the Nine of Swords energy to others it's something you you keep to yourself and do at night Okay, so even though you go through this, I do feel like you handle it well. You have a bright outlook on life because the Ten of Cups is, you feel this connection, you miss this person, but I feel like you understand that life goes on for you. You're sad, yes, but I feel like sometimes it, it, the sadness it shows itself in your body, in your posture, the way you walk. And it is because sometimes the energy is draining for you when you think of something that you lost or something that you didn't get to see flourish, something that left you or something that you had to walk away from. Yes. Hmm. Four of Swords repeating itself, the Tower and the Five of Pentacles repeating itself. <sighs> Alright, so some of you do wish to disconnect from this energy, this situation. Maybe disconnect from a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. It could be just connect, disconnecting from the heartache, the burden, the sorrow, wanting to move away into brand new beginnings of feeling joy, happiness, prosperity, success. Feeling good about yourself, new beginnings. I feel like you want a new beginning. You want, you'd want like a brand new beginning even for yourself. So I feel so that you can feel better about yourself but I, I do see changes you're looking for a change maybe cut something out or off could be connections with other people that are not resonating with your frequency Taurus I see you coming into alignment with a water sign Cancer Pisces Scorpio it's not necessarily a water sign, but the water energy is love, affection, emotional stability, kindness, maturity, success, prosperity, being in the ease and the flow, allowing blessings, good things to flow to you, having your business set up successfully. The water energy here represented in, in the King of Cups is one who is committed, possibly married, have children, just really focused on their goals. This person really values and cherishes themselves, their emotions, how they, the high regard that they hold for themselves and for the people that are within their lives. So you could be moving into this energy. I feel like you could be asking for con to be consoled with, by this energy because the water energy knows how to heal, to help, to support. So if you feel alone, I feel really connect with a with your family here. 
<clears throat> I do feel like that's what you'll be doing coming up. It, I feel like you'll be making that decision because it's something that you're holding on to, maybe blocking connections, being firm, being stubborn, really standing up for what you believe in, for who you are. This is just like, this is um, law, legalities too. And this is also going after what you believe in. Believe in. Taurus being defiant, you know, so it's good. And it's, but I feel like in this sense, you'll be releasing that energy. It's going to come to a point where I feel you will surrender. Surrender. Be vulnerable. Definitely leaving behind, feeling alone. And I do feel like you're being guided by this energy that is watching over you. I feel like they tell you, even telepathically, I feel energetically, they inspire you to communicate with your family. That's the energy. So I feel something is going to give in because I feel like you will realize that it's not working out as if it's not going to be successful the way how you block connections this feels like disconnection here as if the wires have been cut and so there's no connection it's going to end the tower card here it feel it looks it appears very disruptive but what i got from it is peaceful new beginnings <clears throat> with the four paired with the four of wands energy here i definitely feel like peaceful new beginnings it might feel scary to trust for example you need to dive off of this cliff edge into the water you're afraid but you take the dive anyway right and when you hit the water you feel cold but you're alive <laughs> that's the energy taking a risk brand new beginnings that chill hitting the water like giving it a shot and realizing it wasn't that bad after all so you're going to i feel you're really going to relent to surrender and this could be you walking away from your own sense your own beliefs and ideas also the surrender energy here you know just allowing others to be there for you differently so change is definitely on the horizon for you because you're moving into that change energetically emotionally emotionally ascending transcending cutting off feelings of past energies ideas beliefs thoughts that are not good for you learning how to reconnect <clears throat> reconnect yes with yourself so do work on yourself ask for support the tens are beautiful energy here for you amazing it's like brand new beginnings it's like springtime and a new season coming up it's that new feeling coming up in you and it's beautiful because it's coming after the tower energy something ended a brand new beginning and i feel like continue working on yourself self-evaluate do not try to disconnect from those that you love even those that are not here in physical form right it's okay to communicate still how you feel in your heart with the king of cups energy because they do listen to you they feel you they know you and they see you they see you all right and let's see what's at the bottom of the deck we have the seven of swords it feels like shifting shifting moving away it's as if um a new page a new page a new leaf on life 
It's as if taking a leap of, of faith here. That's the overall energy. Deciding to clear out or admonish, abolish, acknowledge how you truly feel. So that I think you're literally ready to move. To move out of certain energies. And the outcome is beautiful for you. Great. All right, thank you so much. This has been Connection with Your Angels, Spirits, Guides here. I hope you find the messages here that resonate with you, Taurus, and is able to help you along your journey. Thank you so much for being here. Please do not forget to show some support to my channel by liking the video and subscribing to my channel for future uploads. Remember, thought Taurus, that you can be, do have everything and anything in this world that you desire because you are all and all is within you. Much love. Take care. Bye. And thank you for your support.